What is going on guys? If you have been watching this channel, you know that I really don't like these type videos. I mean, my top 10 stocks to buy is kind of ridiculous for a guy like me. I mean, the guys that do these all the time must have about 200 stocks in their portfolio by now. And I seriously can't keep up with that many stocks and analyze them all. I mean, it's just, I guess my brain's too small for that. All right, so maybe I'm exaggerating just a little bit if some of those videos are really good and I know that they don't have 200 stocks in their portfolio. Just having a little bit of fun today, guys, after this great green day that we had on Monday. But having said that, I have been adding massively to a few stocks that never get talked about on this channel, so a couple may surprise you that I'm actually buying. So we will discuss those today, and I just asked in exchange for you to gently tap that like button and consider subscribing too. It's super easy to do if you like the truth without the hype. And are you against having a team of investors, including me, working directly with you as we navigate this huge market downturn and will actually support you all the way through it? If not, then you need to join the Market Insiders private group where you get full and direct access to me and a group of six and seven figure investors, and you get access to four free courses that teach you how to plan, do evaluation, build your cash, and you get to see my watch list with price targets, my buy and sell alerts, live weekly Q&As, exclusive videos, and a ton more. So check out the pinned comment. And before blasting me for promoting it, I have no ads, no sponsors, this is what YouTube pays me in a month, and I give half of that and half the group's proceeds to charity. All right, so the market has been ugly, but if you've been following this channel for any length of time, you know that I love these ugly markets. This is where fortunes are made, and you will look back five years from now and go, I cannot believe the price I was able to buy at, or actually my favorite is, I wish I would have bought more. That usually means you made a great decision and bought a great stock at a great price, and that's exactly how you want to do it. But right now, we're not even close to that place yet. We are in the middle of all the madness, and this is the hardest part right now. Buying when everything is negative and going down every day, that's super hard. And I've been there and done that through multiple actual crashes, so I know this method works, but I also know it's extremely difficult and the emotions are very real and very, very, you know, they kind of crush your soul. They kind of make you feel like you just want to sell and go home and not even bother playing for a while. But there is a silver lining in all this, and there's actually good news, because I know I will not catch the bottom on any of these stocks, but five years from now, it's not gonna matter because they're going to be great buys in the future, and I think we will get more opportunities to buy in the near future that will look great in the distant future, and I feel like I've said future a lot, but I don't think we're out of the woods yet, despite the big rally yesterday, or kind of to put it in another way, great kid, don't get cocky. And comment down below if you get that movie reference. It's super awesome if you do. So stock number one that I've been buying heavily during this downturn should not be a surprise to anyone who follows this channel, and that would be Palantir. Now catch my video right up here if you want more detailed thoughts on why I wanna buy Palantir, but this stock is going to be an undercover growth beast in the coming years. It is the perfect stock that we will be able to pick up shares cheap because Wall Street will miss until the numbers are just undeniable and all the negatives get put to bed. Add in the routine FUD that permeates the internet right now around this stock, and you have a situation where shares are on a steal at this stage, and you will have, and will continue to have, ample time to add shares at a great price. I was able to add massively last Monday in the $11 range when retail investors led the way selling the bottom for whatever reason. That Monday was one of the most exciting days we've had in our group. I mean, buyer alerts were going off everywhere, and the excitement was at peak levels. I mean, seriously, it was out of control, and we had a ton of fun buying. I literally had to transfer funds over because I blew through almost my entire 30% cash stack fast that day, and Palantir was by far and away the leader of the pack in regards to the stock that almost the entire group was buying at those super low levels. Oh, and for those of you wondering, I already talked about and gave you the ugly truth behind the Palantir to $5 nonsense. You know, video up here has all the details, but if that actually magically happens for some reason, expect a legit all-in video coming to you. Okay, so on to stock number two that I have been buying heavily, and that would be Amazon. But Luke, that stock has been doing nothing for over a year now. It sucks. Really? Has Amazon not continued to grow virtually every line of business every quarter of that year plus time frame it's traded down or sideways? That is a resounding yes, my friends. Did the pandemic have a negative effect on Amazon's business in any way? That is a resounding no. Their business actually got better. Is Amazon a dying business or is it a growing business? Definitely, they are growing in more ways than we see. Contrary to popular belief out there, a stock going nowhere for an extended period of time while the company performs is a golden opportunity for investors. This happens in the market all the time actually, where a great company and the stock kind of decouple for a little while. 
Basically, the company puts up outstanding quarter after outstanding quarter and the stock price goes nowhere or even drifts down. This is the perfect time to be adding as the market is ignoring a great stock while it chases the other shiny objects that the market likes to chase. Add in the fact that Amazon is known for having long periods of flat or downtrending trading for years in some cases before making an explosive move up, and it makes for the perfect storm to get in on Amazon at great prices before it legs up again. Kind of think of it like a rubber band that kind of keeps getting pulled on. It just keeps getting tighter and tighter, and the longer this goes on, the faster and the further and the sharper kind of the upshoot will be with that stock when the rubber band finally releases. Amazon's rubber band is getting pretty tight and the longer this goes, the more excited I will be. And that leads me to our final stock that I bought during this downturn. And I'm pretty sure I've never discussed it before on this channel. It's kind of a private group exclusive for all you guys out there today. And that stock would be PayPal. This did not hit my watch list until the beginning of January. I mean, Wall Street just continued to beat down PayPal, SoFi, and Square so much that I had to take a second look at all three of those stocks. I mean, seriously, it was just out of control how beaten up they are. Out of those three, I felt PayPal was not only the safest and the best position to weather a downturn and even thrive during the downturn, but also from a valuation standpoint, I felt it was also the cheapest of the group. Basically, bottom line, PayPal just looked like safe, easy money in three to five years from now, so I had to open a position, and I added big time again last Monday as the deals were just too good. But I wanna hear from you. What stocks have you been buying or are you thinking about buying? I'd love to hear what you've been doing out there, and I kinda wanna see what you're looking at. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.